Hello my friends, welcome to the Wicked Bitter channel. I'm Travis, thank you for checking out this video. If you are somebody who is new to this channel and you love WWE, you love pro wrestling, subscribe to this channel. You will not regret it. And if you're somebody who has been here this whole time with me, welcome back. I love that you're here. Happy that you're here. We're going to get into what happened on SmackDown this past uh, Friday. And uh, before we do all that, you got to do one thing. Hit like on this video. Because when you hit like on this video, it reaches a bunch of other people who don't know about this channel. And we want to get as many wrestling fans on this channel as possible. So please do me a favor. Hit like. Hit subscribe. Let's get into SmackDown. So I had to take a bunch of notes. Um, even though this SmackDown was kind of like... I, I, it wasn't spectacular. But it wasn't bad either. Like It was a solid, decent show... You know, I mean, I know Bad Blood is on its way. They're kind of got everything already built as much as they can. And and again, we are another week without Roman Reigns. It's it's kind of like, it's like he's on for a week, he's off for two, he's on for one, he's back for one. So it's it's weird. It's 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 on and off with Roman. I feel like this this tag team match is taking a hit. This this Roman and Cody versus. Um, bloodline at, at Bad Blood. I feel like it's taken a little bit of a hit because Roman's not here every week to promote this thing, and it's kind of just like Cody's doing the best he can to, to get people interested, and the Bloodline are doing everything they can to get everybody interested, and it's kind of like I don't know. It just it loses a little bit of the feel for me because this is supposed to be a big time match, and if it's gonna be this way, let's just have CM Punk and Drew McIntyre headline Bad Blood in Hell in a Cell. I mean. I feel like that's a bigger match than this, as much as WWE probably wants this to be a bigger match than that. That's my little rant. Uh, so we, Raw, uh, I said Raw. SmackDown kicks off with Randy Orton, comes out. Great ovation from the crowd. The crowd nowadays are truly loving every single thing Randy Orton is doing. I, I love it. I, I remember mentioning that SmackDown needs more heels. I, I remember mentioning a while back that I think they should turn Randy. I'm, I'm at the point now where I think maybe they just keep Randy the way he is. He's just getting... Too big of a pop every time he comes out. You just got to stay with it. I mean, he's just beloved. He's in that stage of his career that even if you were to turn him heel, people are st still going to cheer from him. So you might as well just keep him that way. I would look to turning Kevin. I would look to bring in other people, especially if SmackDown is going to go to three hours. You want to bring other guys, maybe Drew McIntyre somehow can get in here. We can get bigger heels on SmackDown because they're definitely going to need it. But Randy gets in the ring. Um, he talks about how there's only very few people in this industry that he trusts, but Cody Rhodes is one of those people. And so he wanted an explanation from Cody. He wanted Cody to come out there, talk to him face-to-face, -face, let him know why in the hell is Cody agreeing to team up with Roman Reigns. Uh, Cody comes out, gets in the ring with Randy. Um, they had a pretty good, decent uh, you know, uh, promo back and forth. He, he said that, you know, Roman gave him his word that he's going to have his back. Roman has given his word on other things, and he's followed through. So Cody is just going to go with it. You know, he, he's he got Roman's word, so he's going to team with Roman. He thinks that the legend of the bloodline should die, and Cody wants to be the one to, to bring them down, and he hopes that Randy would understand that, and I hope it's not a problem for Randy. And Randy looks at him, and he says, you know what? It's no problem unless you make it a problem. So everything I just said about Randy being a good guy and everybody loving him, that was kind of a heelish type of vibe right there. I don't know. Maybe it's a little bit of a tease. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's to get us all thinking that he might turn, but he won't. I don't know. But that was very interesting. Uh, Kevin Owens comes out. Kevin Owens wants to talk about this. But before Owens can even say a single word, Solo Sokoa and the Bloodline come out. Uh, they talk their trash from from uh, you know on the ramp. And uh, it basically boils down to... Kevin Owens getting fed up, done hearing everything Solo has to say, and Kevin Owens challenging the Bloodline to a tag team match tonight, he, you know, for the main event, and go figure, the main event, again, is another Bloodline tag team match. Who would have thought that was going to happen, but it uh, seems like that's every single week now. Uh, but yeah, Cody Rhodes, after hearing that, he says, you know what, this doesn't have to be just a two-on-two -two tag team match, there's three of us, there's three of you, and as he's saying that, Kevin Owens cuts him off, and he says, no, 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 you know what, no offense, but... You have your tag team match against the Bloodline at Bad Blood. You already have a partner for that, so you can worry about that. Tonight, I'm talking about Kevin Owens, Randy Orton versus Fatu and Solo Sokoa tag team match. And uh, things get a little get a little tense, a little, you know, 
something's going on there with Owens and Cody. It's clear. Cody looked a little like, huh, okay, well, there's clearly a problem here. And that's what we get. That's going to be our main event tonight. Kevin Owens, Randy Orton versus Jacob Fatu, Solo Sokoa. And I'm out of breath because that was a very long opening sequence. We got to talk about what happened backstage. I wasn't even going to cover this, but Nia Jax and Tiffy Stratton backstage. Nia Jax straight up grabs Tiffany Stratton by the neck and looks deep into her face, deep into her eyeballs. And she says, if this ends bad for me, then this is going to end really bad for you. And then she kind of took her hand off, smiled, say, hey, we can be friends again. And then she said, walked away. But the look on Tiffy's face said everything to me. That's that's. That is somebody who was plotting against Nia Jax. Tiffy Stratton has a a plan, and we don't know what it is yet, but I feel like it's going to happen, and when it happens, I wonder if it makes Tiffany Stratton into a babyface. I don't know. I feel like people cheer for her already. Anyway, people love her. What if when she cashes in on Nia, she is a babyface, and we go that route? I think that would be kind of cool to see, because everybody loves Tiffany Stratton. It would only make more sense to make her a babyface. We get Bailey versus Naomi, and by the way, I don't know if any of you caught it, but Bailey came out to the right song, but the incorrect video. She came out to a damage control video, and it threw me for a loop. I was like, wait a minute, why are they playing this video behind her? She's not part of damage control anymore. And they quickly cut it, and then they threw up her actual current video, her, her up-to-date video on there, and I was like, wow, a little miscue. And then another miscue happened earlier in the show when Randy came out and cut that promo, like this blue Big light flashed on Orton. I'm like, what is going on with this production today? A little off on SmackDown on the USA Network. Off to a little rocky start, are we? But yes, Naomi versus Bailey. Uh, it was a great match. You know, very solid match. Bailey ended up coming up on top. Um, I've mentioned this in my other videos before. I think Naomi is going to turn on Bailey. I think it's just it would it, it's something new for Naomi. I think we need it for her. Uh, a character change here. Um, less dancing, less glow, s more serious. You know, I, I would like to see it, but. Um, who knows? They might not go that route. You know, Naomi is generally loved by a lot of people, so I don't know. Uh, but I would like to see her go as a heel. When that happens, if that happens, yet to be seen. But uh, as of right now, Bailey wins. She will face Nia Jax at Bad Blood for the championship. We've got a backstage segment here. Uh, Andrade's coming out like he's going to walk towards the ring, but he stops and sees LA Knight backstage. He goes up to LA Knight, and he basically tells him, hey, I lost a lot of respect for you last week when you wouldn't shake my hand. So... I found this kind of strange, and I'll get into it in a second here, but as he, as this is going down, Carmelo Hayes attacks LA Knight, and then he looks, he starts walking towards the ring telling Andrade, hey, I'm out there, I got something for you too, come on. So, interesting there. What I thought was kind of odd is that last week when Andrade came out, he came out with no mask, and he came out to like lighter colors, I feel like, if I remember correctly, and he looked like a baby face. But going up to LA Knight saying he lost respect for him, and then now having the mask this week, it's like, okay, so is he a is he is he a bad guy? Like, where are we going here with Andrade? Either way, he had a great match again, as you would assume, with Carmelo Hayes. Kind of kind of got a little fishy here at the end. Um, LA Knight came out, you know, to interrupt this match while Melo was on the outside. Melo runs to the inside. He ends up tossing Andrade into LA Knight when LA Knight was on the apron, uh, which knocks him off of that. And then Carmelo gets the roll up on Andrade for the for the pin. The series is now tied 3-3. Three to three. We obviously are going to go to game seven here, match number seven. And I would assume whoever wins that will probably face LA Knight for the championship, even though we kind of just did that with Andrade and, and Melo. But I could see it happening again. I think this is the current plan for WWE right now. I think Melo has done amazing since coming to SmackDown. This feud with Andrade has done wonders for both of the men involved. And, uh, well, now three of the men if you're going to include LA Knight. So, yeah, that's a wrap on that. Uh, Carmelo Hayes gets the win. But, uh, yeah, and after the match, you get a little bit of an argument between uh, LA Knight and uh, Andrade. So, yeah, interesting to see where this goes. I feel like Andrade is going to be the heel. I, I I don't know. I just feel like it's it's leaning that way. So we get an interesting backstage little segment. Randy Orton and Kevin Owens are talking. They're prepping for their match. And Cody Rhodes comes in, taps Kevin on the shoulder. And, hey, you know what? I could tell. I could tell something's off. Something's weird here. Is everything cool with you and me? Let's talk about it. You know, uh, you know I'm sure you want to talk about the whole Roman Reigns and me teaming up thing. And, and and Kevin Owens kind of at first tells Cody, no, 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 let's just not talk about it right now. I'm, I'm, I'm preparing with Orton. We got a match coming up tonight. You you got your tag match. Just worry about that. And then 
Cody kind of pried a little bit, and Kevin Owens almost blew up on him a little bit. And, and Randy, Randy Orton had to like soothe things over, calm Kevin down. Kevin left the uh, the, the room, and then Randy told uh, Cody that, "Hey, you know, regardless, you know what happens out there, if the bloodline get involved, the Tongans show up." I would like you to show up and help us, even though Kevin just told you not to come out and help us. So um, Randy Orton kind of like caught in the middle here. He's cool with Orton. I mean, he's cool with Owens and he's cool with Cody. So interesting dynamic we got playing here. But uh, that's pretty much how that backstage segment went. Randy said he'll go talk to Kevin and he left. So, uh, yeah, I can't wait to see what happens here. I know uh, there's the possibility of both men turning on on. Uh, on, on Cody, but I think it's just going to be Kevin and Randy, maybe not. Um, one thing I do want to point out, though, what do you guys think about this War Games coming up, if it's going to be Bloodline? Um, who do you think is on Team Bloodline, or Team Roman? You know, uh, at first I was going to say Jimmy J and and Sammy, but maybe not anymore. Who knows? Maybe it's going to be Kevin Owens, Randy Orton, and Cody Rhodes with, with Roman Reigns versus the current new Bloodline. Um... I don't know if I really like that, but I feel like they've been teasing it a little bit. Maybe that's what's going to happen. Maybe it's there where Kevin Owens turns, but if that's the case, we still got to wait like a whole nother like couple of months. I don't know if they're going to drag it on that long. Um, interesting. I don't know. I'd rather it be Jimmy J and not really Sammy, but I guess if we have to put Sammy in there, yeah. Um, I don't know. Well, let's find out. You let me know what you think. Do you think it's going to be... It doesn't even have to be any of the guys I named. Who do you think will join Roman in that bloodline uh, versus Roman and his crew at uh, War Games at SummerSlam? I don't know. I, I, we all assume that's going to be the match, right? So let me hear it. What do you think it's going to be? Pretty cool moment. We got a nice little vignette of, of AJ Styles, short and sweet, but it says he will return next week. Thank God, because I've I've heard that this guy's been healthy. He's just been waiting for something. He's been getting nothing. So uh, maybe AJ Styles will finally get a feud here. Let's see who it'll be. Will it be a good guy? Will it be a bad guy? Who will he feud with? Um, I think you got to get uh, maybe AJ Styles versus LA Knight at some point again um, if you're going to keep him as a bad guy. But uh, who knows? Who knows? Maybe he'll feud with the, the bloodline. Don't know. I would like to see him pair back up with Gallows and Anderson and keep the OC going against maybe the bloodline or so you get something there. But who knows? Uh, glad he'll be back, though. We get Meechin versus Piper Niven. Uh, it, was a, it was a pretty good solid match here. I like this match. Uh, Chelsea gets involved. That trash can gets involved. Uh, in the end, it's Meechin with the win. And then we're going to get Meechin versus Chelsea Green next week in a dumpster match in Tennessee. So that'll be interesting to watch. SmackDown next week is looking pretty uh, st- stacked. I wonder I wonder why. There's championship matches. There's, uh, there's a lot going on next week on SmackDown. Definitely can't miss that. Uh, but uh, yeah. So uh, Meechin wins, and that's that. Speaking of next week, one of the one of those matches is going to be a triple threat tag team WWE Championship match. If I said that, and it's going to be in a ladder a ladder match. So it's going to be Tama Tonga Tonga Loa versus DIY versus Street Profits. It was a cool hype video. Um, this would be a good way to make the Tongans lose the titles without having to get pinned or something. So maybe if they want to put the titles on the Profits, something's in my eye. How about that? Uh, yeah, maybe if they want to put the titles on the Profits just to get them off the Tongans, this is a good way to do it. Uh, but if not, then the Tongans win. Uh, it's just, I don't know. I don't know what the plan is. I don't know why they need the tag team titles on the Bloodline if they're not really doing anything with it um, and they're focused on other things other than actual having tag team matches defending those titles. Don't know. So maybe this is a way to do it. But we'll, we'll see what happens. Next week on SmackDown, though, Triple Threat Tag Team Ladder Match. It's going to be a good one. Time for the main event, the bloodline. It'll be Jacob Fatu and Solo Sokoa versus Randy Orton and uh, Kevin Owens. Uh, remember, earlier in the night, Kevin Owens told Cody to stay backstage, don't come out and help us, even if the Tongans get involved. And then Randy told Cody the other thing where he said, yeah, I would like for you to come help us if the Tongans get involved. So what will Cody do? Uh, it was a good tag team match altogether. But of course, those Tongans showed up. Tama Tonga, Tonga Loa come out. They try to interfere in this match. And then that's when Cody comes out, trying to even the odds, even though the numbers are outnumbered here. Um, Cody uh, gets involved in this match. Kevin Owens does not look happy about this. Kevin Owens ends up s- hitting the stunner on Solo Sokoa. And when he went to go for a pin, it happened at the same time where Cody got thrown into the ring and he got bumped into the ref. So the ref was distracted, couldn't get the count. Um, And then uh, it was Fatu and Solo who attacked um, Kevin Owens here. And then Solo gets the win 
over Kevin Owens and Randy Orton. And then after the match, attack again. Uh, yeah, well, Kevin Owens, Randy Orton, and Cody Rhodes uh, fought him off. And at the end of the show, it was Kevin Owens shoving Cody Rhodes and getting in Cody's face, clearly upset. And you had to have Randy Orton, of all people, playing peacemaker to break this all up and try to keep everybody cool and soothe everything over. It doesn't look like it's going to work too well because at first Kevin Owens is hesitant and then he kind of listened to Randy a little bit. He walked up to Cody, you know, he said, yeah, fine, you know, whatever. And he hugs Cody and uh, don't think this is good. Kevin Owens is turning and it's, I don't think we're going to wait until summer uh, survivor series. I feel like this is going to happen very, very soon. Don't know when I've been calling for it for a couple of weeks. Hasn't happened. So I'm not even going to put a timetable on it. If I'm guessing bad blood, if I'm, if not there, maybe the SmackDown after bad blood, who knows, but, uh, it's coming and it's coming fast as bad as that sounds. Uh, it is going to happen. Uh, but yeah, that is the review for SmackDown. I appreciate you all. Uh, I wanted to make an email video, but I didn't get that many. So, um, I chose not to, but I do have a couple of emails in there. So if you still would like to send an email, I will make an email video. I just need a couple of more, two or three more, just to fill it out a little bit, give us something to talk about. Um, I love these emails, so uh, it's something I definitely look forward to doing. Wickedbittermedia at gmail.com. Send in your email. I will read it in the next video, and we can go from there. But uh, yeah, until then, my friends, have a good weekend. Uh, subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet. Like the video if you haven't yet. Comment, of course. I love hearing from you. Uh, and until we eat again, my friends, as always, stay bitter.